ACORN is the Association of Community Organizations for Reform Now. ACORN has goals including the registration of new voters and the advocacy of affordable housing, especially in the inner cities. Scenario. A young woman pretending to be a prostitute and a man pretending to run for Congress one day walk into Acorn's Baltimore headquarters and speak with two of the employees who run the facility, Tanja Thompson, a tax specialist, and a woman by the name of Shira, who is an Acorn housing employee. The young woman pretending to be the prostitute says she wants to traffic into the United States a dozen underage girls from El Salvador and wants assistance obtaining a housing loan for a brothel, getting around federal tax laws and helping to launder the sex money into the man's future congressional campaign. Question. Would the ACORN employees encourage the prostitute to cheat on her taxes by getting child tax credit for the underage girls? Under 16? Yeah. So you're eligible to get, you'll be able to get child tax credit? Would they give her guidance on how not to get busted by the federal government? You're not going to use all of us. And would they give her street tactics on how not to get in trouble with her abusive pimp? Be careful. Train them to keep their mouth shut. Always keep your eyes on the back of your head. Yes, yes, and yes. I wanna tell you about a girl I kissed. She was ridiculous. I mean, picturesque. Yeah, she was more than looking beautiful. See, she was in the know with the physical. Is it against the law in Maryland? Prostitution? Anything that the government's not getting our money from, it's always against the law. But I want to know specifically if this is, I think, of course it is, because they always called the law, cops on us before. Right, and anything that's, you know, anything that's in Maryland, anything that's not government approved, it's always against the law. That's rule number one. Yeah. But do, do you fill out your taxes? No. Well, she gets paid mostly in cash. Yeah. She makes a lot of cash. money, though, so we could okay, afford something. Okay, let me get somebody here for taxes so they can talk to you about how okay. you can... It's, it's not like Because it's now. against the law, and but no she, law enforcement... Law enforcement is very prejudicial towards us. But she's going to make us a legal business. That's why yeah, she has about but, taxes. But how can she do that, though? Because... Like, um, she is good. I'm going to tell you, Tom, she want to know how you can make it legal. She's really good. She's she's not going to put... She's not going to get in trouble on okay. herself. The type of business or service you provide, let me make sure there's a code for it, okay? A code for prostitution? Well, yeah, because we, we have to ha I have to have a name and a code number. Well, I don't know if there's going to be a code. But I'm going to look in there. I'm going to get my list. Okay. She's going to say, she's good. That's what I'm saying. But she's going to make us a legal business. But how can she do that? Let me make sure there's a code for it, okay? A code for prostitution? Okay, let's see what we got here. Combination food service and drinking places. Business mm. service, private medicine, service, service, direction agencies, credit bills. You might have to name it something else. <laughs> Performance arts, let's see. Independent artists. You could be that. You're an artist of sorts, the way yeah, you move I'm your body. I'm very independent. Well, I, may, I am now well, that sun is gone. Yeah. Um, dancing. It's not dancing, trust it's, me. Um, but dancing is considered an art. I mean, you know, the... Um, they, well, right. Right. Sex is kind of like dancing, right? Yeah, so I'm going to say. So yeah. I, I, I'm i thinking, like, if you worked in, like, in... What's that place? Hustle? What's the name of that place? Damn, damn. Anyway, you work in them... They usually go under performing arts. <sighs> or... Yeah, they usually go under performing arts. Which is what, what, we, what, what you are, performing artists. Performance arts, let's see. Independent artists. You can be that. Each your mouth about how much you think you made. Well, four weeks in a month. Eight. About eight hundred dollars a month? Eight grand a month. About eight grand a month. Okay. So that's gonna put you eight thousand nine six. Ninety-six hundred for the year, nine thousand six hundred for the year. So you would that's be good, but you're gonna have to pay yourself and form the tax. You had expenses that you had to meet to come out of there, so you should have a business loss. So you really shouldn't have to have no self-employment taxes to pay. You have to have a certain clothing. Okay, so we can write that off. You have to have a certain grooming. Okay, mm -hmm. that can be written off. Um, do you provide, do you get like little gifts or 
like uh, some kind of incentive or something to your clients or whatever. You can write stuff well, like that. I mean, condoms. I mean, how many condoms travel, did you buy last month? No. You don't travel. They travel to her. Yeah. Right. They, so you don't you don't go nowhere, right? Okay. So yeah, we could probably write off. He made nine thousand dollars. We can write off at uh, probably at least seven, eight thousand. Oh wow. Okay. okay. He made nine thousand dollars. We can write off at uh, probably at least seven, eight thousand. We should talk to you about which it might complicate our taxes. Is that we got a couple girls overseas coming over? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There's about there's thirteen girls from El Salvador that. I've kind of gotten wind on the street that are going to be coming to town, and I've let the right people know that I'm interested in taking care of them and getting them used to the area. And they're very young, and we don't want to we don't want to put them on the on the books. They're kind of dependent. They're from El Salvador. They, okay. There's like 13 of them. Okay. And they're probably going to move in with into the house Just that we get for a year or two to get them on their feet. Just to get them on the feet so they can do this type of thing. So you want to put ta okay? Why do y'all even want to do taxes? Oh, because we, of the house. We because we need, a, we need a house, and everyone else has been discriminatory. But the point is that there's going to be 13 El Salvadorian girls coming into this house. Mm -hmm. We don't want to. We don't want that to cause any trouble. I mean, as far as, 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 far as anything, taxes? As, as far as the feds coming in, say you got I mean, see, as far as the, what as far as feds coming in, um, as far as the house is fine, but the tax part, man, mm -hmm. if you want to cover yourself on that part, you can issue them 1099s. But they're not even legal citizens. Um, uh, that. Well, I mean, couldn't they, like, if I am a performing artist... Okay, and I if they don't have Social Security numbers, right. yeah. then you don't have to worry because they can't file taxes. Anyway. So they but can just be like... What are they supposed to do about them? We don't have to worry about them? You don't have to worry about them. You don't, and, and not unless they're going to like, go get an ID, not federal... Sorry, they're if they're going to get a Social Security number, mm -hmm. even for working... Well, they're like 15. Oh, well, then you don't worry about them. Okay. But then you know what? You can always claim them as dependent. Can you all of them? Mm -hmm. But well, could we they, play if some of them as dependents and yeah. still have the other ones there? Sure. Well, they're like 15. Oh, well, then you don't worry about them. Okay. Well, then you know what? You can always claim them as dependents. If they live in your, okay, if you want to do this, you want to start this business, the name of the proprietor would be you. The principal business would be uh, performing arts, okay? No. Um, then the address for right now would be what? The boat. The boat. Okay. The boat's on the chest. All right. Then, the amount of money you make, Right now, you don't have employees, but when the girls come, they're really not going to be employees because it, you're not going to issue them W-2s at the end of the year. I don't even they're know. They're under 16, Yeah. so you don't worry about that. But on the, the other part of the, of, of the return, you can use them as a dependent. So, okay. You can use them as a dependent because they live in your house, especially if they're under 16. Okay. You can say they, well, they live on the boat, which whatever. Yeah. And you're taking care of them. Yeah. Okay. So you can use them as a dependent. What if they're making money because they're performing they're tricks too? Right. If they're making money and they're underage, you shouldn't be letting nobody know anyway. Oh. <laughs> what? That's true. You shouldn't be letting anyone know anyway. Well, that's what, that's was, what happens. We tell the bankers and they when, kick us out. Right, because, was, they, because was, it's yeah. illegal. They're really not going to be employees because... It, you're not going to issue them W-2s at the end of the year. I don't even They're know. They're under 16. Yeah. So you don't worry about that. But on the, the other part of the, of, of the return, you can use them as a dependent. So. Okay. You can use them as a dependent. If they don't know, you know what I'm saying, what you're bringing in or whatever going on, nobody's telling it. Then they won't know to come I look mean, for it's, it. It's kind of true because when I was working when I was young, I couldn't tell anybody. Right. Yeah, she's been working since she was about 13. But you can't, right. So if they're under 16 and you can't, they're not, they're not legally able to work here anyway. You have to be 16 working around. Got it. Okay. So it's like they so, don't even exist. Exactly. They don't even exist. They're not legally able to work here anyway. Exactly. They don't even exist. And they can be in the housing that we get. Right. We apply for. They can, can be in the housing. Them. We can use the house for them. You can use the house. I mean, use them on your taxes as dependents to help lower your, your rate. 